In this video, we can discuss about introduction to the chemotherapy. So, in this session, we will discuss the definition, terms and concept which are used in the chemotherapy, properties of an ideal antimicrobials and classification of antimicrobials or antibiotics. Let's start with the definition. What is chemotherapy? It is the branch of pharmacology which deals with the drugs which selectively inhibit or destroy specific pathogenic microorganism like bacteria, virus, fungi and parasites. But sometimes we may misunderstand the term chemotherapy with neoplastic disease because chemotherapy is the term which is extended to use the use of drug in the treatment of neoplastic disease because of the similarities between the malignant cells and pathogenic microorganism. Malignant cells are the uncontrolled growth of the cells. So it is considered as a foreign body and pathogenic microorganism is also a foreign body. So this is the branch of pharmacology which deals with the drugs which will selectively inhibit or destroy specific pathogenic microorganism or neoplastic disease. Now we may have seen or we may have discussed about different agents like chemotherapeutic agents, antibiotics and antimicrobial agents. So what is the difference between these three terms? Chemotherapeutic agents are the drugs which are used to interfere with the functioning of foreign cell. Foreign cell may be the pathogenic microorganism or may be the uh, neoplastic cell or cancer cells or any other type of uh, cells. So chemotherapeutic agents are the drug which are used to interfere the functioning of foreign cell. Now what is antibiotics and antimicrobials? The difference is antibiotics are the substance which are produced by various microorganisms and that will kill or suppress the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms. But the antimicrobials are the chemical substance whether natural, synthetic or semi-synthetic origin and that will also will kill or suppress the growth of other microorganisms. So the difference is antibiotic uh, is origin is from some microorganism, antimicrobial the origin may be from synthetic, semi-synthetic or natural. So that is the three terms chemotherapeutic agent, antibiotic and antimicrobial agents. Now coming to the activity of an antimicrobial agents. What are the different activities? First one is antimicrobial activity. From the word itself we can consider or we can uh, guess it. It is refer as the refers to the ability of the compound to react the microbial cell molecules in a way that it will interfere the growth and multiplication of microorganism or it may cause killing of microorganism. So it may be both or any one. It may interfere the growth or the multiplication or it may cause the killing of microorganism. In general, we will say that activity as antimicrobial activity. Now coming to the specific one that is bactericidal activity. So this is the ability of an antimicrobial agent to cause the death of bacteria. It will kill the microorganism or the bacteria. Uh, the term bactericidal means it will kill the bacteria. Viricidal means it will kill the virus and fungicide means it will kill the fungus etc. Now coming to next one bacteriostatic activity. It is the ability of antimicrobial agents to inhibit the growth and multiplication of microorganism but here it may not necessary to kill the microorganism. It will inhibit the growth and multiplication. It may or may not kill the bacteria. Now another term is selective toxicity. 
it is the ability of an antimicrobial agent to killing an invading microorganism without harming the cell of the host so as we all know all the antimicrobial agents are used for the treatment of uh, different infections so uh, these are administered into the host cell like a human in case of human if we have an infection we will take this antimicrobial or antibiotics so that came that case it should not harm the human or the host cell who are taking the antimicrobial agents. So, so that is the selective activity. Now coming to the another term which are regularly used in chemotherapy that is the antimicrobial spectrum. So what is spectrum? It refers to the range of pathogenic microorganism against which an antimicrobial agent is active. So, if you are giving an antimicrobial agent, whether it will kill a small group of microorganism or a group of wide group of microorganism, according to that, the spectrum can be broad spectrum antimicrobials or narrow spectrum antimicrobials. So, in case of broad spectrum micro uh, spectrum antimicrobial agents, these type of antimicrobial agents are active against wide variety of organism like both gram positive as well as gram negative microorganism. But in case of narrow spectrum microorganism, they are active against a few or a class of type of microorganism like either it may inhibit gram positive or it may inhibit gram negative bacteria. Now next term which are used in chemotherapy is potency. So what is potency? It is defined as the antimicrobial activity per, the, per milligram of chemotherapeutic agent. So what is the uh, minimum concentration of an uh, a drug for their antimicrobial activity per milligram that is the potency term. So it can be expressed in different terms like minimum inhibitory concentration, minimum bacterial bactericidal concentration and minimum antibiotic concentration etc. And all these terms are or uh, this uh, uh, terms or uh, these uh, values are determined by different in vitro experiments. So first one is minimum inhibitory concentration or MIC. So it is defined as the, it is the lowest concentration which will prevent the visible growth of bacteria when grown in a serial dilution in in vitro. Now coming to the minimum bactericidal concentration, it is the lowest concentration which will kill the bacteria. Now next term is minimum antibiotic concentration, this is the concentration which will reduce the growth of microorganism in vitro by a factor of 10. So uh, this term minimum antibiotic concentration is used to express the activity of, anti activity of some drugs that exert antimicrobial action in vivo at concentration below their minimum inhibitory concentration. Now some other terms which are mainly used in chemotherapy are post antibiotic effect. It is the effect of drug even after antibiotic is out from the body and another term is biphasic or ingle effect. This is the effect of low dose but not at high dose. Usually all the drug will increase their action or potency with increasing concentration but in case of some drugs it is just opposite. That will be active in low concentration only but not in high concentration. So that effect is known as biphasic or eagle effect. Now coming to the properties of an ideal antimicrobial agent. What are the ideal properties? It should have a powerful action against wide range of microorganisms. It should have a selective toxicity without harming the host cell. It should, slow, it should have a slow metabolism in the host cell. It should be well distributed in the body of uh, the host cell. It should have a good oral bioavailability. It should have a long elimination half-life. It should not be bacterial resistant, no bacterial resistance or cross resistance. It should have no or minimal effect on host immune system, no or minimal adverse drug reaction with other drugs which are used concurrently, no or short withdrawal period in food producing my animals and it should be economical and easily available. So these are the different properties of an ideal antimicrobial a, microbial agents. Now coming to the classification of antibiotics or antimicrobial, 
there are six classification and this classification is not important for the exam point of view but this is very very important for the each class of drug to identify whether it is uh, what is the mechanism of action of that kind of antibiotics or whether it is in bactericidal or bacteriostatic whether it is a bacteria uh, antibacterial or antiviral or uh, whether it is narrow spectrum or uh, wide spectrum etc so coming to the first classification that is based on the mechanism of action in which mechanism the drug is acting in the body to kill the microorganism so this is another different in case of chemotherapy in all other drugs we will explain the mechanism of action based on the um, physiology of the human but in chemotherapy mechanism of action will be explained on the basis of the mechanism of killing the bacteria or microorganism that is the main difference so coming to the first uh, class of drug according to the uh, mechanism of action the drugs which will inhibit the cell wall synthesis so cell wall is the outermost layer so it is it will prevent the uh, leakage of essential materials from the inside the body of uh, microorganism so by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis uh, uh, it can be uh, helped to kill the microorganism by leaking or by uh, killing directly uh, by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis so examples are penicillin cephalosporin cyclosporin bacitracin vancomycin and clotrimazole now second class of drug which will inhibit the cytoplasmic membrane function or the drugs which will cause leakage from the cell membrane so it may cause uh, already preformed uh, sorry it may cause leakage of preformed uh, cell wall examples are polymyxin colistin bacitrin amphotericin b nystatin and hamycin third class is in uh, these drugs will inhibit the protein synthesis by binding with the different ribosome subunit like 30s and 50s ribosome examples are chloramphenicol tetracycline macrolides antibiotics aminoglycoside erythromycin clindamycin and linozoli linosolids then drugs which will interfere with the intermediary metabolism so as we all know for the synthesis of dna or rna it require a different kind of folic acid so some drugs may con uh, inhibit the conversion of folic acid to dihydrofolic acid as well as tetrahydrofolic acid so that is the intermediary metabolism so some drugs may interfere this kind of intermediary metabolism so thereby it will inhibit the dna synthesis and thereby it will kill the microorganism examples are sulfonamide trimethoprim sulfone para amino salicylic acid pyrimethamine and ethambutol now next class of drug uh, antimicrobial agent which will affect the nucleic acid metabolism and it will interfere with the dna function examples are quinolones rifampicin now next class of drug uh, antimicrobial agent which will uh, inhibit the dna synthesis like antiviral drugs like cyclovir and sidovudine and drugs which may cause misreading of mrna code and affect the permeability streptomycin and gentamicin and drugs or antibiotic which will inhibit the dna gyrase which is the enzyme which is responsible for the metabolism or uh, inter or dna functioning so examples are fluoroquinolones and ciprofloxacin so that is the first classification based on mechanism of action now coming to the second classification of antibiotics it is based on chemical structure and this is the classification that we will study in pharmacology and this is in this antibiotics are classified according to the chemical structure or the basic ring which is present in the antimicrobial agents so it is classified as sulfonamides examples are sulfa diamide diamide diamidine sulfa diacin sulfanilamide and sulfa quinoloxone then di amino pyrimidines like trimethoprim oxy ormetropin and baculoprin quinolones like nalidixic acid 
enfloxacin, difloxacin and ciprofloxacin, beta-lactam antibiotic like penicillin, ambicillin, cloxacillin, cephalosporin and cephalexin like uh, cephalosporins and aminoglycosides like streptomycin, gendamycin, amikacin and tobramycin. Tetracycline like oxytetracycline, tetracycline, doxycycline and minocycline. Macrolide antibiotic like erythromycin, acithromycin. Nitrofuran derivative like nitrofurandoin and furazolidin. Nitroimidazole like metronidazole and imidazole. Polypeptide antibiotic like polymyxin B, cholestin and bacitracin. Polyne antibiotic like nistatin and amphotericin B. Imidazole derivative like ketoconazole, fluconazole and clotrimazole. So that is the second classification based on chemical structure of antibiotic. Coming to third classification that is based on therapeutic uses or type of microorganism that are killed by uh, antibiotics. It may be antibacterial like penicillins, aminoglycosides, tetracycline and chloramphenicol or it may be antifungal like amphotericin B, griseofulvin or ketoconazoles. Now it may be antiviral like idoxurudin, vidarabin, zidovudin and ribavirin, antiprotozoal like metronidazole, cunapyramines and diaminis, diamin dimenazine, antihelminthics like albendazole, levamizole, niclosamide and prazigondal, ectoparasites like cypermethrin, lindain, amitraz and ethios. So this is the third classification based on the therapeutic use or the uh, drugs which are used to treat the different type of microorganism. Coming to next classification that is based on the spectrum of activity that may be narrow spectrum or uh, broad spectrum antibiotic. Narrow spectrum are the uh, antibiotics which will kill any one of the group like uh, penicillin G. Uh, it may kill either gram positive or gram negative. So examples for narrow spectrum antimicrobials are penicillin G, streptomycin, erythromycin and vancomycin. Broad spectrum antibiotic examples are tetracycline, chloramphenicol, cephalaxin, gendamycin and ambicillin. So it may kill both gram positive as well as gram negative microorganism. Now coming to fifth classification that is based on the action whether it will kill the microorganism or it will inhibit the growth of microorganism. It may be bacteriostatic or bactericidal. Examples for bacteriostatic antimicrobial agents are sulfonamide. Chloramphenicol, erythromycin, trimethopin and clindamycin. This will inhibit the growth of microorganism. It may not kill the microorganism. And examples of bacteriocidal drugs which will kill the microorganism are penicillin G, cephalaxin, streptomycin, vancomycin, pacitricin, potentiated sulfonamides. These are the some examples of bacteriocidal agents. So that is the fifth classification based on the type of action and finally sixth classification that is based on the source of antibiotics whether it is natural or semi-synthetic or synthetic. Natural examples are fungi from fungi like penicillin G, griseofulvin and cephalaxin or it may be from actinomycet like streptomycet, tetracycline, erythromycin or chloramphenicol or it may be from bacteria like polymyxin B, cholestin and bacitracin and uh, antimicrobial agent may be synthetic also like uh, sulfonamide, trimethopin, quinolones, nitrofuran and nitroimidazole. So that is the sixth classification based on the source of antibiotics. So that is all about the introduction to chemotherapy, definition, terms and concepts used in chemotherapy and properties of an ideal antimicrobial agent and different classification of antimicrobial agents. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.